Jason from Idaho. Today, I'm going to get you started on a game plan to start your real estate portfolio. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show. We're on Holton Wise. I'm James Wise. I'm your host. This is the show where we work together one-on-one, -on -one, right? I'm going to work with my man Jason from Idaho today. Uh, what you're about to see, this is what I can do for you. So if you are interested in doing the same, send my team an email, sales at holdenwise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll give you a call to discuss working together, or you could click the show notes below to get started. You can go to our website, order the packages, and get ready to rock. But let's get back to my man Jason. All right, Jason. So here's where we at, brother. You reached out to us. Uh, you have $100,000 in cash. You and your wife are interested in starting your real estate investment career. I believe you work in IT. And you guys, of course, living out there in Idaho, you want to invest here in the Cleveland market because our price points are much cheaper than where you live, right? We have much more attractive price to rent ratios. Totally normal. I got you a property. Uh, that should fit most of your needs because you guys were apprehensive to go the Section 8 route. You didn't want to go that route. You guys have had bad experiences in the past uh, with the Section 8 tenants. And something I want to talk about before we even get into the property, a lot of people, I think, think that Section 8 tenants are, are worse than cash-paying tenants. And I could understand where that thought process comes from, but I'd like to clarify my thoughts on it. I don't believe that there is a difference between a Section 8 tenant and a cash-paying tenant. What, what, what happens, folks, is there's difference between a B-class tenant and a C-class tenant, okay? So if you get into, uh, like, D-class and in, in, in sometimes C-class neighborhoods, you're going to deal with a tenant base that is already going to be pretty high risk, pretty rough on your property, okay? At that point, it makes more sense for you to go with a Section 8 tenant because when you're in these D and C class properties, the biggest risk factor is your tenant's not paying rent, right? You're dealing with a lower quality tenant, so not paying rent is more common. So you mitigate that risk by going with the Section 8 program. But if you go up into like a B-class asset, right, a B-class neighborhood, you're just going to get a higher tenant base. And at that point, totally fine to go with the cash-paying tenant because you're all, all your tenants are lower risk, right? So the risk of not paying that rent isn't there. So when people go, I don't want to deal with Section 8 tenants, I want good tenants, they need to know what you really want to do is move into a B-class asset, okay, because you're going to get the better tenants, right? Because when you're in the lower-class assets, you're already getting high-risk tenants regardless of if they got the Section 8 voucher or if they don't. So the Section 8 tenants are actually lower risk, right? So I wanted to clarify that. But with all that said, I got you guys this property right here, a B-class asset, 5258 East 119th Garfield Heights, nice B-class area. Been on the market for 55 days, but it actually just popped back on the market. So it was on the market, available for sale. Somebody put a contract out on it, and then it fell out of contract. This is actually priced really, really well. And what's nice, this is a newer, newer build comparatively, okay? Now, a lot of folks, especially folks on the West Coast where they've been doing a lot of new developments, things of that nature, they're not used to our housing stock age that we have here in Cleveland. You get a lot of stuff in Cleveland that could be close to 100 years old. So this is like a 50s, 60s build. So this is actually really new housing stock for us. Unfortunately, we don't have any additional photos other than the outside photo because it's tenant occupied. And tenants are not uh, always open to people coming in their house bothering them, which is fine. I totally understand that, especially in today's day and age of COVID. Like, if you think, ah, you know, me and my wife and our kids would let some stranger in our house to, like, take a bunch of pictures, like, in COVID times, that would be insane, right? So it's not the end of the world. Because we know we're already getting that rental income, right? What we're getting right now, we're getting $950 a month in rent. It's 11400 a year and what that will break out to is 950 comes in right 
We're going to spend an average of 516, leaving us with an NOI of 434, right? So that's 5208 a year. And a couple things I want you to note, right? Things like our repairs and maintenance, our vacancy and not payment of rent. We are saving 564 a year for both of those items, right? That's not going to be saved here at Holton Wise. It's going to go back to you. So you're going to get more than 5208 coming home. But I want you to save that because you need to understand you're going to be spending that money eventually, right? We don't know what the inside of the house looks like, but here's the deal. It's kind of irrelevant because when these tenants eventually do turn over, you're going to need to do a tenant turnover, right? There's no scenario where you're probably not going to have to repaint the walls, patch some holes. If there's carpet, pull the carpet, replace the carpet, or buff the hardwoods, right? So that's eventually going to happen. So that's why we have a budget of 564 a year for repairs and maintenance. So if these tenants are in this property for another four years, you're going to have an additional, like, I don't know, that's going to be like $2,200, $2,300 that you've saved. You never counted that as your return to do your next turnover. That's why we can safely buy these properties without like needing to see all the pictures, right? It's, it's kind of irrelevant what color the, the living room is right now because you're going to have to repaint it for a new tenant. And you know the current tenant's cool with it because they're already paying nine fifty dollars a month in rent. And then our capital expenditures, furnace, hot water tank, roof, right? All midlife, right? Nothing is like super brand new, okay? Nothing is going to be, like, amazingly brand new. We had, like, a semi-rehab when they put this tent in there around 2015. So if they did do the hot water tank, which I'm not sure if they did, but if they did it, right? So that's a hot water tank that's five years old today, and then maybe this tenant stays there another five years, right? So that'd be, like, 2025. You got yourself a hot water tank that's, like, 10 years old. They usually last about 15 years. So that's what you're saving that money for because that's going to cost you a G to replace. Furnace, they last 30 years, right? You're always going to have to replace a furnace every 30 years, right? Roof, they last about 30 years as well. It's like a $6,000 roof. So that's why you calculate those CapEx. And then the last thing I want to show you about this chart is you see right here, it says water and sewer. I got zero, and I got a little asterisk there, right? Here is the deal, okay? These tenants are paying their own water and sewer currently with this particular landlord, but that is not the way we do things at Holton Wise, and that's not the way you should do things in the Cleveland market. So what I've done is I've put a link uh, to our fact, the Holton Wise fact. I want you to click that. Pause the video, click that, and read why what you really want to do is actually push that back into the rent, right? So instead of charging these folks $9.50 a month and then they pay their water bill, what we really want to do is charge them $1,025 a month, and you need to be responsible for the water bill. I know that sounds goofy, but that's why you have to read the fact. We've completely explained why that is. It has to do with the landlord-tenant laws in uh, this market along with the policies of the water company and how they actually back bill unpaid water, right? And how the eviction laws work. So all that's explained in our fact down below. After you read that, you'll see why we do that, right? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to holtonwise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. But, that's not going to change uh, your NOI because, you know, it's either they're paying you nine fifty, then they're paying their water, or they're paying you ten twenty five, and you're paying an approximate water bill of nine seventy five or, or of of seventy five a month, right? It, you know, six to one, half dozen to the other, right? So with all that stuff said, as far as purchase price goes, I think you got to pick this bad boy up. You got to come in. Come in immediately. I say we go 70K. It's listed at 69.9, but it just, again, came back on the market. This is like a multiple offer situation. So I want you to come in not only full price, but an extra $100 just to make it look really good to the seller, right? 100 bucks, it's irrelevant to you, but the seller sees a seven, oh, they're going to be very excited because you're going to be competing with multiple offers. This is going to move quick, right? So 70K is what I want to bid on it. We do that with everything. It's going to be a 7-4 cap. You guys only need to spend $17,500 of your $100,000 budget, right? So that leaves you guys with $80,000 after we do this deal to do another deal, right? And that would be a 14.6% cash-on-cash return. Nice, low-risk, B-class asset. I believe this is exactly what you guys want. However, I want to make sure I give you guys options. I'd like you guys to have the ability to compare or contrast. So what I'm going to do is film you a second video right now. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.